How you doing guys? MGTOW Mafia, your boy Phil. So I have another ex-wife horror stories. So I made the mistake. I divorced my wife. That wasn't a mistake. The mistake was I got back together with her. And I remember my bud saying, you're only going to go out with her until you figure out why you divorced her and then you're out, you're out of there. And that was true. But the ex-wife horror story was when two people, I'll tell you right now, when two people divorce, they literally go their own ways in life. And we all know that's true. I'm thinking, knowing what I know now, what was happening was we had some guy friends. I was living at her house at the time. I had some guy friends across the street and guy friends down the street with their wives. A couple were single, a couple weren't, a couple had kids. So we're all talking. And my ex-wife at the time comes out of her house, of our house, with no bra on and a loose shirt. And she proceeds to be bending over with everything showing, which is, I guess, great if you're single. But <laughs> this is someone that was newly gone back out with her. I had no idea what she had grown into. And uh, I, I, I didn't really notice it until I noticed a couple of the husbands, okay, jockeying for position, all right, around. And I kind of went, what are they doing? And then I kind of walked around behind them and I got like, oh, they're looking down my ex-wife's shirt. Okay. You know, I'm not, you know, I didn't really get mad. I felt like that was the first stage of, oh, sh I made a mistake. I shouldn't have come back. But the thing was, I'm, I'm looking at them and I look at their wives and I say, wow, they have no respect for their wives at all. And uh, she's doing her thing and the boobs are flying and this and that. And I was kind of mixed with emotions going, what the hell? And just like, what the hell did I step back into? So I'm thinking, okay, these guys aren't my friends because, not that they were, because I'm a Johnny come lately, according to them. Uh, so it just shows you that all right, those guys aren't my friends. But I'm more concerned with, at the time, concentrating on my wife. And go, oh, my ex-wife, I should say, because God forbid I did not marry her again. It only lasted a few months and I moved back out. But I get her back in the house and I said, you're okay with, uh, you know, flaunting your boobs around and not a big deal? You know, doing planting and stuff and the guys, the neighbors across the street, the guys are jockeying for a position to look down your shirt and do you know what her answer was, she says to me, well, have you seen their wives? It was okay with her. And right then, I said, okay. I really made a mistake coming back. You're not the same person. Because I have, I'm not a saint, but I have some morals. And I have some decency. And I'm certainly not going to jockey for position to look at someone else's wife or girlfriend or whatever in front of you. So that just crushed me. And I was like, okay. So then you just start thinking, okay, how the hell do I get out of this situation? Because this is who she is. She was probably in her 50s. No kids. She didn't have a husband. Though me, I was gone. Uh, I had come back. God only knows when she thought I was coming back. 